service will start momentarily. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. New Liberty family and friends. It is good for us to be here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to begin our worship service this morning with a scripture. The scripture is coming from Psalms 100 verses one through five, Psalms 100, verses one through five. The King James Version reads this way, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Notice it didn't say some of ye lands, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence, with singing, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So we enter his gates with thanksgiving. It shouldn't take much, think about it. Think about how all he has done for you. Hallelujah. Reflect and then enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. His truth is what will last. Not the latest trend, not the latest fashion, not your fickle friends, not technology. His truth endureth to all generations. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to gather together and bless your name, to come before your presence with thanksgiving and come before your presence with singing. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to say thank you, to show you our gratitude for all of your goodness toward us. Thank you for this blessed opportunity to show you how we feel about you. Now, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Have your way. Fall fresh upon us. Move however you want to move. We ask that you would send your anointing in the name of Jesus. Let it break yokes. Let it break chains. Set the captive free. Save souls. Heal the hurting. Heal the bruised. Heal broken hearts because you are able to do it all. Not only are you able, but you are willing. So unleash yourself in here today. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So at this time, our praise team is coming to lead us in singing before the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and praise him. He's worthy. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. He is real. Hallelujah. I can feel him in my soul. He's real. Hallelujah. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. 
Sometimes when you're feeling low, nowhere to go, Jesus stepped in and he made me strong. For I know, oh, 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 Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Yes, yes I know the Lord is so real to me. is real. So we ask that you would give your full attention to our New Liberty News. 
coming from the news team. So to Pastor Stimmage, First Lady Stimmage, Associate Ministers, our New Liberty family and friends here in the sanctuary, to those worshiping with us on Zoom, and on FM 91.1, our drive-in worship. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. What another awesome day. God watched over all of us, protected us, woke us up this morning, and as the William brothers would say, through it all, I'm still here. Lord, we thank you. We want to remind everyone that New Liberty's theme for the year, in him we live, move, and exist. That's Acts chapter 17 and verse 28. Amen. We will continue to pray for our sick, shut-in, and our bereaved families and friends. Please reach out to someone you haven't seen or spoken to in a while. Call them, send them a card or a text, whatever you need to do just to let them know that you are thinking of them. It'll be a real blessing. We are all connected by the love of Christ who loves us all. And doing that little bit can be a huge blessing in the life of one of our brothers and sisters. Amen. New Liberty, please be reminded that you may submit your tithes and offerings along with your love gifts for Pastor and First Lady Stimmage at newliberty.org. When you log on, please go to the online giving tab. Next, under my donations, select the fund that you would like to give to. You may also select other, which allows you to enter the name of a special donation. Or you may mail your tithes and offerings to the church. The address is 2965 Meldrum Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48207. Thank you so much for your blessings of giving as God has blessed you. We do ask that you keep writing material handy during the worship service because we may have information that you may need to write down. This is especially useful for the text and scriptures given during service. It may be something you need to encourage your heart and uplift your spirit throughout the days and weeks ahead. Also, if you have changed your address or phone number or email, please leave a message at the church. We want to keep our members information current. If you or your family ever plan on attending Sunday worship service in the sanctuary, please contact the church at 313-921-0118 by Wednesday so that we can plan accordingly adhering to COVID-19 protocols. On Wednesdays, please remember that we have Bible Power Hour. Bible Power Hour. Bible Power Hour at 7 p.m. Come join us as we continue to study God's word. Also, every Thursday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. That's every Thursday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. We offer prayer service. Prayer service. We ask that you call our dedicated conference call number at 617-691-8196. Eight one seven zero to join in prayer service. Prayer connects us with God and is so powerful. So you never want to miss an opportunity to join in corporate prayer. Every Saturday, also please remember that there will be a deacon at the church to receive your tithes and offerings from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Every Saturday, there's a deacon at the church to receive tithes and offerings from 12 to 2 p.m. Also, as a reminder, every Saturday, we send out a one-call reminder, which includes the dedicated number to dial into Zoom with the meeting ID and passcode for Sunday's Zoom worship service. If you have voicemail, you may want to save the one-call message to play back at a later time. Also, you are invited to join us at 11.30 a.m. today 
after worship service for the Rosie Weathersby Educational Hour. The adult lesson for today, Jeremiah the Suffering Preacher. You don't want to miss it. The Bible background is Jeremiah chapter 37 and verse 38. Printed text, Jeremiah chapter 38, verses 14 to 23. The devotional reading, Jeremiah 38, verses 17 to 18 and 15 through 18. Reverend Davis is the instructor for the adult class, which is held in the sanctuary after worship service. Please join us. It'll bless you. For those on Zoom, you may want to stay on after Zoom, after Sunday worship, and transition right into the Rosie Weathersby Educational Hour. In other words, don't log out of the meeting, don't hang up the phone. You have the option to just hang on and transition right in. If you prefer to log off and log back on, classes are assigned by 1115. So you want to log in by that time. For those calling in for the Rosie Weathersby Educational Hour, our dedicated Zoom number is area code 312-626-6799. Today's meeting ID, the meeting ID is 886 one five nine zero seven six one five today's meeting id number eight eight six one five nine zero seven six one five the passcode six zero four five zero three six zero four five zero three if you have keys to New Liberty Baptist Church, Chairman Trustee Gloria Foster needs to see you to complete the list of key holders. If you missed any worship service or you just want to see it again, you may see Pastor Stimmich presenting our Sunday worship ser sermons on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. Go to it. Click on it. Anytime you're feeling low, you can get YouTube on your phone, your tablet, your computer. You can listen to a sermon at work, put that one headphone in. You still got to work though, pay attention. Put that one headphone in over here and you can listen to the Sunday sermons with you on the go on our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, then you just type in New Liberty Detroit. Amen. If you are celebrating your birthday this week, your New Liberty family would like to wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. You made it another year. If you are celebrating your anniversary, congratulations, and may the Lord continue to bless you both. Happy anniversary. Speaking of anniversaries, there's another one we need to mention. Pastor Reverend Dr. Maurice Stimmage Jr.'s 13th pastoral anniversary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's not easy, but he made it. A man whom God sent to New Liberty Baptist Church to lead his flock, to feed his sheep with the word, committed in serving God's congregation. We will celebrate you, Pastor Stimmich. Hallelujah. Nobody should beat you in celebrating your own pastor. Hallelujah. Nobody. We will celebrate you, Pastor Stimmich. The celebration will take place here, fourth Sunday, May 23rd, and everybody say, and Sunday, May 30th at 10 a.m. So that's May 23rd and May 30th at 10 a.m. On May 23rd, service will be held in the church sanctuary on Zoom and utilizing the drive-in worship that is broadcast on FM 91.1. Now on Sunday, May 30th, However, worship service and pastoral anniversary activities will be held outdoors, weather permitting. Everybody say outdoors, May 30th, 
outdoors. Amen. Weather permitting, there will be a light repast that will be distributed after both services. We are asking each church ministry to bless this man of God who continues to faithfully lead New Liberty and each individual member. Show him how much he is appreciated as God places on your heart to do so. So this would be a great opportunity to pray and ask the Lord, how can I show Pastor Stimmage how much I love him? And let the Lord lead you. We're also requesting everyone who plans to attend the pastoral anniversary services and activities to call the church. So what you're supposed to do, call the church. If you want to attend, call the church at 313-921-0118. Leave a message indicating you will attend fourth Sunday, May 23rd, and fifth Sunday, May 30th, whether you join us in the sanctuary, drive-in worship, or Zoom. We want to plan accordingly for the repast following both services and maintain social distancing. And we do have to do this because remember that the COVID-19 virus is still here. Now that don't mean the virus is greater than the Lord, but it does mean that we have to continue to exercise wisdom and prudence in our behavior. Amen. Well, this ends our uh, weekly announcements for today. Thank you so much for your attention. Now the praise team will be coming and the next voice that you hear will be none other than our very own super capable Reverend Patrick Davis. Bless you, Lord. We bless you in this place. We magnify you in this place, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to your name. Awesome God, awesome God, awesome God, awesome God. We just magnify you. We're asking you to just worship right now. Hallelujah. If you can just worship him right now for everything that he does and who he is. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, how we worship. 
Oh, Lord. 
preaching time. You commissioned and you called us to such a great work and we pray now that you help us to decrease that you might increase in us. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Help us to preach, O oh God, that first of all, your name be magnified and glorified. Help us to preach, O oh God, that your people may be edified. Thank you for this privilege. Thank you for choosing us for this task. Bless us now as we move forward that in everything we do, your name will get glory and honor. In the strong name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. To Pastor Stimmage to my co-workers in this work, to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it is another day's journey. Man, I, I think everybody ought to clap at that. God has brought us to this place one more time. Let me say again to Pastor Stimmish, thank you for allowing us to stand at this moment. You've heard me say so many times that mama told us to say thank you because thank you makes room for so much more. So again, let me say thank you to him. There are two passages of scripture that I would like to invite your thought and your meditation at this preaching moment. From Proverbs the 27th chapter, the third verse, and then from Deuteronomy, the third chapter, the 28th verse. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. Proverbs 27 and 3. And then Deuteronomy 3, 28. Proverbs 27 and 3 says, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. 
when it, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Let me read that again. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. When it is in the power of your hand to do so. Deuteronomy, the third chapter in the 28th verse says, but command Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him for he shall go over before this people and he shall cause them to inherit the land which you will see. I want to take a different approach today. We talked about COVID-19 so much. We talked about other things, but I think that as we are on the crust of a great celebration starting next Sunday, I wanted to take a moment and encourage and honor the man of God. Somebody ought to say amen. Encouraging and honoring the man of God. You may be seated. Thank you. Miriam Westford Dictionary defines honor as giving recognition to a particular person by another person. This is determined or judged by another person based on that person's character, based on that person's good name and that person's good reputation. In giving honor to any individual, I think that one should look at all areas of accomplishments that the individual has achieved and the impact that they have had on the lives of others, as well as the community in which they live and serve. Too many times, my brothers and sisters, I think uh, that we give honor to those who are not really worthy of such accolades. You don't have to say amen to that. <laughs> hmm? When we talk about encouraging, we want to inspire, we want to spur one on to higher heights and to make someone more determined, hopeful, and confident in achieving the goals and objectives, especially when it comes to ministry that God has placed in their lives. So bear with me for a moment as we come to this preaching moment to honor and encourage this man and woman of God for 13 years of service that has been rendered to this ministry, first to God, to this church, to this community, and to the people of God. Let me, let me, let me, let, let me repeat that. Let me, let me, let, can I repeat that? We come at this preaching moment to honor and to encourage this man and this woman of God for the 13 years of service that has been rendered to his ministry, first to God, to this church, to the community, and to the people of God. So Pastor Stimmage, most certainly to me, you proving yourself as well as Sister Stimmage to be worthy of this honor and encouragement that is to be bestowed upon each of you as we reflect, as we look back on your years of pastoral ministry to the New Liberty family, the accomplishments that we've made together, mm, the roles that we've had to travel to get where we are and yet prepare ourselves for what lies ahead. It is to this that I want to honor, encourage, and yet strengthen you for the task that lies ahead. Are y'all with me today? Hmm. So first of all, we honor you. Hmm. Because I believe that God has honored you by choosing you for the awesome task of leading his people. 
You know the scripture in Matthew 24, 14 says, for many are called, but few are chosen. And I think I got some witnesses in here that he didn't just choose anybody. Hmm? But I believe that he chose you according to what he says in Jeremiah 3, 15. That I will give you pastors after my own heart who shall feed you with knowledge. And I believe that God has planted you here, Pastor Stimmage, to take the mantle and be the spiritual shepherd of this flock that is under your care. And I don't believe that you've done it uh, because you were forced to do it. But I believe that you were willing to let God lead and guide you in being a shepherd to this flock. Somebody ought to say amen in here. So as we honor you, we also encourage you and inspire you on to higher heights in the ministry that God has called you to. So I encourage you to continue to stand firm in these difficult and challenging times. Stand firm and, 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 and let nothing shake you. Let nothing bend you or rattle you. Mm. Stand firm and let no one detract you or keep you, Pastor Stimmage, from doing the will of God. Oh, I want you to remember that God chose you. I'm going to say that again. God chose you. Not only did he choose you, he anointed you, and he appointed you for this time to do a great work. Don't be faint of heart. Don't give up, even though it appears at times that everything is going wrong. Mm. Be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. In other words, Pastor Stimmage and Sister Stimmage, stay rooted and grounded in his word. Stay connected to your roots. You know what the root is, don't you? For on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. When it, when, it, when, it, when it appears like you can't stand, my brothers and my sister, know that you are not standing by yourself. Oh, I got somebody in here who know what I'm talking about. For God made a promise that I will never forsake you, nor will I leave you alone. And so, Brother Pastor, we honor you because you've been consistent in your calling. Because of your love for God and for his people, you have not been afraid to stand and preach his word. You, 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 you did, or you doing what Paul told Timothy to do. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove. Rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. We honor you because you have preached and taught when they wanted to hear you. Uh huh. You have preached and taught when they didn't want to hear you. You preached and taught if the crowds were big or even if the crowds were small. So I encourage you that when the storms of life come, and when the winds of fear and doubt begins to blow, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will, somebody say he will, and he will direct your path. Always give yourself to the work of the Lord. Because I believe that, Pastor, he got a lot more for you to do. So be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. So we honor you mm, because you stand tall and strong. And you have demonstrated that where you are, God bought you. Mm, what you know. God taught you. And what you have, God gave it to you. 
so that you can bear fruit for the building up of this body of Christ and to give glory and honor to God to proclaim his righteousness. We honor you, pastor, mm, because you are watchful in all things. I, I, don't, I don't know about you. I don't know if you've ever sit down and talk with pastor, but pastor don't miss nothing, do he? Come on, somebody, help me in here. A lot of times he may not say nothing, but the pastor is always watching. That's what the word of God says. Be watchful in all things. You, you've endured affliction as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And you're doing the work of an evangelist. Above all, my brother, I believe that you are fulfilling your ministry. So for this, we honor you. In encouraging you, we also strengthen or pray for your strength because of the task that God has called and charged you to do. I believe and see that pastoring or leadership in general, it's not an easy task. Did y'all hear what I said? Leading folk and pastoring folk is not an easy task. I think I'm gonna say that one more time. Leading folk and pastoring folk is not an easy task. I think I'm gonna say it one more time for the Holy Ghost. Leading folk and pastoring us is not an easy task because not only does he have to deal with our burdens, he has his own burdens, come on somebody, that he has to deal with. Mm. But, 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 but watch this, but watch this. But God has qualified you and placed his stamp of approval on you. So be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We honor you, Pastor, because in these 13 years, you stirred our hearts. How many hearts have been stirred in this ministry? Not only has he stirred our hearts, he's challenged our minds. You've changed some attitudes, some dispositions with your messages of hope and inspiration, and yes, even your messages of rebuke because you have allowed God to saturate you, to prune you, and to anoint you with his spirit so you can be fresh and flourishing to teach and preach his word. You know, such as the word we're stuttering, we're stuttering rather, studying on Wednesday night. That's a powerful word. Hello, somebody, if, you, if you're not with us on Wednesday night, I'm just talking in general, if you're not with us on Wednesday night, join us because he's challenging us to deal with the social issues of the day. There are many pastors that are doing that. We cannot settle for the status quo. So he's teaching us. He's not afraid to allow God to use him to bring this church to a higher height, somebody ought to say amen. Hmm. So as we take this time to honor you and to encourage you and to celebrate you and Sister Stimmage, I wanna leave three things with you that I think will keep you strong and that I think will encourage you as we celebrate 13 years of ministry. First of all, don't forget what God has done for you and where God has brought you from. He took his word and placed it in your heart and mouth and commissioned you to teach and preach to this dying generation. Pastor, look at the many blessings God has given you. He's established your, he's established your goings. He put a song in your heart that even the angels can't sing. Never forget what the Lord has done for you and where he's brought you from. I can, I, can, I, I, I can hear you saying in your heart, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget. 
Second of all, pastor, remember what God has promised you. Listen to what God said to Joshua. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. No matter what you're going through, no matter how rough and how tough it gets, God is with you. Can I get a witness in here? He's given you the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide you and to help you. When you remember what he has promised, you can stand and sing, I'm standing on the promises of Christ my King. Through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Well, what has he promised you? That, that, that's a good thing to look at, isn't it? Well, he promised never to forsake you, nor leave you alone. He promised that if your ways please him, he'll make your enemies be at peace with you. Don't for, ever forget what God has promised you. And then finally, since you know what he's done, since you know where he's brought you from, the last thing I want to leave with you, my brother, move forward. Move forward. I'm going to say it again. Move forward. Yes, this pandemic may have slowed us down, but that's okay. But it's also taught us some new things. Am I right, y'all? And God has allowed it to take you in a new direction. So keep moving forward. Go in and take possession of what God has promised you because it belongs to you. Mm. Those things and those individuals that shackle you, that hinder you and worry you, go ahead on and leave those individuals behind and move forward. Mm. Launch out, pastor, Woo! into the deep and let your net down for a catch. For the Lord wants to do a marvelous thing for you, in you, and in this ministry. So I tell you, brother pastor, move forward. Don't be afraid. I'm almost done here. Don't be discouraged. Don't concern yourself, brother pastor, with the small things. Move forward and take possession. Move forward with renewed inspiration. Move forward with a renewed hope. Move forward with your eye on the prize for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So we honor you. Mm. We honor you today because I think that you've done a great work. I stopped there because you ought to give him some honor. 13 years, I know it hadn't been easy. But God has kept him. God has strengthened him. And God has given him a great work to do. And let me tell you that are in the sanctuary, you that are on Zoom, and you that are worshiping outside with us, he can't do it by himself. Hello, somebody. <clears throat> he can't do it by himself. One more time, he can't do it by himself. It's going to take all of us to help him fulfill the vision that God has placed in his heart. Mm, it's going to take every one of us to make this ministry what God has called for it to be. So Pastor Stimmich and Sister Stimmich, thank you so much. Thank you for the 13 years of ministry that you've given to this New Liberty family. Some have left, but that's okay. God got so much more in store. Amen. Sometimes God has to plug out and replant. And guess what I believe? As God replant, God's going to give folk that will what? That will not be afraid 
to do what God has called them to do. So Pastor Stimmage, thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Sister Stimmage, for the hard work that you give us. Thank you for the messages that you preach to us. Thank you for the prayers that you give us. Thank you for the work that you do in this, in this building when no one else is around. Thank you for the running back and forth. Thank you for the wiring. Thank you for the setting up. Thank you for the ministry. Thank you for the counseling of the people of God. We bless you and we honor you and we give you honor as we prepare to celebrate you and Sister Stimmage. God bless you. Hallelujah. We are so blessed to have a good pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's not everyone's testimony, but we here at New Liberty are blessed because we do have a good, kind, loving pastor and first lady. Now, maybe because I have had other pastors that were not, that it creates a wellspring of appreciation for me, but to take a moment and appreciate that. So now we have, and we are extending an opportunity for all who may be listening, watching us today whether it's on a social media platform, whether 91.1 you're listening, however you might be listening and hearing us, there is an opportunity that we want to extend to you to join this wonderful family at New Liberty Baptist Church, to make that decision that may help to change your life. Who doesn't need extra love and support? Now notice I didn't say a perfect family because you won't see that till you get to heaven. Hallelujah, but a loving and supportive family that we are. Don't deny yourself that. So at your very next opportunity, come on down to 2965 Meldrum, Detroit, Michigan 48207 at any of our worship services. Come on and join us. If you want to join us and you live in another state, that's cool too. Call the church, 313-921-0118. We would love to have you and we will welcome you. And you gonna eat good too because the word of the Lord goes forth from here. There's more that we'd like to offer though. It doesn't just stop there with a good church home. You may need to be reconnected or connected to the Lord. You may have been connected and now you're disconnected. You may have walked away from the Lord. Well, his arms are extended to you in this moment. It doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter where you've been. He loves you now and he will continue to love you. Come on back, come on back. Let him be your Lord. Jesus said this, he said, my yoke is easy and my burdens is light. In other words, it's not a difficult thing, but it will bless you. So if you have not, made Jesus the Lord of your life, it will be the best decision that you could ever make for yourself because you will never be alone, never again. You will never be alone and you will always be loved. Don't deny yourself that. Doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, none of that matters. So if you're here in the sanctuary and if you wanna make Jesus your choice, don't delay. Speak to one of our deacons. And if you don't know who a deacon is, just stop somebody and ask, because we'll all help you. If you wanna make Jesus your choice and you're on Zoom or YouTube, call the church, 313-921-0118. We are waiting to hear from you. And we love you and the Lord loves you.
Hallelujah. Amen. Well, we have certainly eaten well here today. Uh, we have been reminded that we do have a good pastor. And the Bible says to give honor to those whom honor is due. In other words, I want you to notice that that wasn't like a suggestion. It said, it's a command, actually. It's, it's a command. It, it's, it's not a question. It's an assertion. In other words, it's something that you are supposed to do, to give honor to whom honor is due. And certainly, honor is due to Pastor Maurice Stimmich and First Lady Renita Stimmich. It is due them. This is why we do this, because it is due them. When you are snug and sleeping in the bed, they working. Hallelujah. When you don't have any worries, they are here. Still trying to figure it out so that you can benefit. So, yes, we take time to say thank you and to honor them. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for our worship service today. It doesn't have to end. You can keep right on worshiping the Lord at home in your vehicle. You know, continue on. The praise team is going to uh, lead us out into service. Uh, however, may the Lord go with you everywhere you go. He Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's continue to worship. Yes, yes, yes. 